The House Oversight Committee adopted a scathing report today that blasts the state's $54 billion on a Medicaid program for waste and abuse. Our Washington Bureau reporter Michael Scotto joins us now with all the details. Michael? Hi, Lewis. New York's Medicaid program is the most expensive in the country. And today, that report adopted by the House Oversight Committee said that over the course of 20 years, the state overcharged the federal government some 15 billion dollars. The re report was adopted by a bipartisan vote. Uh, only Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney objected to it and it calls for the federal government to take a number of actions including conducting an independent audit of the state's Medicaid system. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa of California said the waste and abuse spans both Republican and Democratic governors and while the report criticizes Cuomo for not fully cooperating with the committee's investigation, ISA did praise him for moving to clean up the system. This is a problem that is being repaired as we speak. Under Governor Cuomo's leadership, a number of reforms have been done, but like anything of the magnitude of $15 billion, there's more work to be done. Carolyn Maloney, though, criticized the report for not focusing on other states and also for not giving Cuomo enough credit. I did not feel that the report was balanced or fair. It singles out New York, did not appropriately address what the governor is doing to address this challenge. What? Now, the report is not binding, but it comes at a pretty sensitive time uh, for the state, which is currently negotiating with the federal government over how to repay all of those billions of dollars uh, that it overcharged the federal government. And Maloney says that the report, of course, doesn't help that process. We reached out to the governor's office and the State Department of Health, but have not yet received a response. Lewis? Thanks, Michael.